I'm now told that um, Emmanuel Udo, the team manager of Aqua United, is on to us live. Good evening and welcome. Yeah, good evening. All right, uh, let, let me quickly ask you, um, Emmanuel, how, how um, is your team preparing for this crucial final? I know that um, you have not won this title before, and I'm very sure you're taking it with all the seriousness that it deserves. Yeah, uh, the team is ready. Uh, we, are, we are in Lagos. We are fully prepared. I think uh, we are ready to take on the uh, lobby stars come Sunday. All right, um, not having much of an experience at this stage, do you think it will count against you? Yeah, but I want to tell you that uh, the uh, technical advisor of Aqua United has been in this uh, competition. I, I won it three times. And okay. I would uh, experience that uh, the experience of my player. I think uh, we are set. We are, we are not afraid of anybody. We are not afraid of any team. We are focused because uh, we have come this far. And with the motivation of our governor, we don't see how we can now fail to leave the cup for the first time. We are history makers and we are going to make history. All right, uh, talk to us about your players. Uh, we know that they've been motivated uh, by uh, the governor. Um, what's the mood in camp? How, how are they feeling? How are they preparing for this crucial um, encounter? Well, I want to say that uh, His Excellency, as a digital governor, we are going to play a digital game for him. Okay. He has been in the system uh, for the first time, and we are going to make him proud, definitely because he, he promised that he will be here in, in Lagos himself. And we can never and will never disappoint him. And with the effort of the Honorable Commissioner, the Chairman of the club, and all the management crew of Aqua United, everybody is set to now leave the club back to Aqua, which is the land of promise. And we are promised that. All right, can you, uh, let me put you on the spot now. Let me, um, can you predict the score? Ask the guys from Lobby Stars. They were able to tell, of course, they said their team was going to win. And I'm very sure that's what you're going to say. But um, look into the future. If you have a crystal ball, whatever. Tell us what you think the outcome of the final between your team and Lobby Stars, what you think it will be? Well, uh, uh, Lobby Stars say they are going to beat Aqua United 2 1. Yeah. And thank God for them saying 2 1. So we are, it's going to be a reverse because we are, they are not going to score 1, we are going to score 2. <laughs> okay, you're confident your team will win? Yes, definitely. I'm very, very confident. Okay, we wish you all the best uh, as you take on Lobby Stars in that final. And from here, all we can say is that may the best team win. Thank you for your time yeah. on the show tonight. Yeah, thank you and God bless you. <laughs> While right. we're waiting to celebrate with you, <laughs> I wish you all the best. All thank right, Th thank you very much. Uh, that was um, Emmanuel Udo, uh, the team uh, manager of Aqua United. All right, let me quickly welcome Saeed Abbas. He joins me now for the remaining part of the show. But quickly, Saeed, let me allow you to have your say. Uh, you've probably monitored both teams and um, a neutral perspective. I mean, a lot has been said. Both teams have played twice, yeah, uh, one nil victory in, in both cases, and each team winning at home. But in this case, it's going to be a neutral venue. Venue in Lagos. Uh, yes, it looks a bit uh, a bit tight. Um, uh, it's um, actually very difficult to predict. Um, though uh, Aqua, Aqua United uh, got uh, better over uh, Lobby Stars the last last time, uh, last, uh, last time out uh, the last not game of the season, away. not just um, just uh, last week. There, in fact, um, Aqua United um, have finished on um, uh, 47 points, okay. and also Lobby Stars too. They both um, have finished at uh, 15, 14 respect. But looking at uh, the game, it's going to be very, very difficult uh, to predict. But it looks more like um, Aqua United, they are motivated um, uh, uh, for this encounter. We saw the governor talking to them there, um, uh, motivating them that they should just go all out and uh, defeat our uh, lobby stars. Uh, looking at that, it won't be out of play to say Aqua United uh, might just uh, win. But somebody just tells me Aqua United might just sneak it. Okay, so we, we, we're we going to see a good game in the final? Perhaps. Um, I, I, I think so. I want to see side attractions also. I want to see a, a kind of showpiece that would actually um, uh, uh, pretend um, uh, good about our, our football here. Mm -hmm. Say, so, yes, uh, we have, have come to stay. I want to see a better outing compared to what we saw um, uh, last uh, year where we had um, uh, Dolphins and Yimba. And I hope uh, we're going to see more of that. Yeah, last year was good. And, and if this year is better than last year, then, then the organizers deserve... Uh, an applause. Yeah, an applause for uh, putting all of that together. So I guess we just leave it at that and urge you to go to the Tesla Balogun Stadium on Sunday and enjoy the very best of football, the most uh, prestigious football competition uh, here in Nigeria. And let's not also forget that the women will be involved as well, Sunshine Queens and, and, and by Elsa Queens of as course. well uh, in that one. So just go right there. That's it on your screen, Sunshine Queens and Bielsa Queens. Same day, 12 noon. So you just, I mean, just get there early 
I, we heard that the stadium will be thrown open. So just get like there early. Having fun for the whole day. Have fun for the whole day. Yeah. Bring your family. We've been told that security will be handled. So you don't have anything to, to worry about. Just go right there and enjoy yourself. All right, let's uh, leave the Federation Cup and spend the remaining time we have on the show to take a look at uh, things happening in Europe. Everything happening in Europe has been overshadowed by the Paris attacks. Of course. Uh, we, we must say. Uh, a lot of people do not even remember that they are classical. This, isn't coming <laughs> this up, yeah. weekend. And in spite of what happened uh, last week, Friday, the French League will still go on as planned. But besides, take a look at all of this. Big games across Europe. Let me reel it out for you. And, and you just see what you can tell us about all of these crucial matches to be played. Manchester City and Liverpool, obviously pick of the pack in England, Real Madrid, Barcelona, uh, in Italy, Juventus and AC Milan uh, will lock horns uh, in that one. Uh, let's quickly talk about these three ones, England, Spain and Italy. First and first, I think you have to uh, pick out uh, Real Madrid versus Barcelona here. Biggest Real football game on the planet. That is arguably. You just have to give it to Real Madrid and Barcelona. 55 uh, Spanish uh, title between the, these two teams, uh, 15 European Championship. Now looking at, uh, looking at this particular El Clasico, if, uh, it has actually shifted uh, between um, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel uh, Messi. Like uh, for five, four, four, five seasons now, it's been a case of Ronaldo would score, Messi would score. Now mm -hmm. we have um, Neymar and Suarez. If we actually come to the party in the absence of um, uh, Messi. The Exactly. Now, Messi will be returning back uh, for, for Barcelona and Leon, um, Neymar and um, Suarez, they've stood in for Messi. In fact, uh, Louis Enrique, uh, I should say, didn't even miss uh, Messi at all. Neymar, 11 goals uh, so far this season. Suarez, uh, 9 goals. And in fact, this uh, particular encounter, last nine meetings uh, between these uh, two guys have actually produced um, um, goals. Um, the longest run uh, shifting back to the 1940 and 1950 um, uh, season, which was um, uh, 13 uh, matches. So it's going to actually be Real a Real Madrid, there. we have some of their players in Injured back, the, the, the Gareth Bill might just be back in this one. Karim Benzema might just be back in this one. Amis Rodriguez uh, might, might also have a role to play. Uh, not re necessarily so for Barcelona because it's a 50 50. Of course. The doctors say Lionel Messi is not ready, yeah. but the player says he's feeling good and he's ready to play. I just think they shouldn't rush uh, Lionel Messi. By the time they rush him now, he might just um, get to um, uh, develop um, Love complications. Uh, longer injury and then goes on for three months or four months and that affects um, uh, the whole um, uh, Barcelona team. Uh, and you think this man in your picture, I mean, he's able to carry the burden? A lot of people are already comparing, comparing his stats. And I think it's too early, but they're comparing the stats of Neymar to Lionel Messi. And some, some are already saying that he's been able to carry the team well in the absence of Messi. And, and probably this El Clasico doesn't really need you know, uh, Messi as much. Of course, for, 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 a, for a boy of his age, he scored um, a great goal uh, for the Brazilian national team, even coming to um, uh, to Barcelona also. You look at what he's, the goal he scored um, uh, prior to the international break. You know, yes, this guy this guy has come to stay he's in Barcelona. That level. In fact, he, 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 he's telling us that, yes, Messi is Messi, but I, I'm, I'm, also, uh, I'm also Neymar. No, I, I think he's, he, he can... Just, just look at it. Very, very Run through this. Very close between uh, both teams. Titles between these, uh, these guys there. Real Madrid 32, Barcelona 23, 71 wins are for Real Madrid, 67 Seven wins for Barcelona, 67 losses are for Real Madrid, um, 61 losses for Barcelona, 32 draws are for both guys there. In fact, uh, 22 uh, unbeaten La Liga home games are for, for Real Madrid. They've won, 19, they've won 19 and they've drawn just three. And uh, Barcelona's last um, 15 um, home games has been, away games has been goals, 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 goals galore. And even Neymar that we're talking about now, he's actually contributed to Barcelona's last 19, 19 goals. Now you have to say this guy is just yeah, a yeah, phenomenon. I, I wanted to ask you a question, but this is the match detail. Well, the competition is the Spanish La Liga. The game, mm -hmm. biggest, arguably, biggest mm -hmm. game on the planet. It's going to take place tomorrow, November 21. Uh, of course, Santiago Bernabeu, uh, the, uh, the stadium uh, used by Real Madrid. Yeah. And of course, 6.15. PM, PM, of course. That's when it's going to take place. But uh, quickly, I'm going to ask you before we leave this issue and go to tennis. Do you think this El Clasico will determine um, the league? Because whoever wins this, wins this game will, will probably be sitting comfortable, uh, maybe one or two points on top. But do you think this uh, is it? Is this El Clasico coming too early, or will this El Clasico determine who eventually wins the league? No, it's not going to determine it at all. It's not a case of a coming early. Last um, this time last season, 
Real Madrid defeated Barcelona three, three goals to one. In fact, Real Madrid they were on fire then. They went 22 matches um, on beating, scoring, getting all the goals. At the end of the day, they went home not, not even with the Champions League. So should Real Madrid win, it doesn't even determine the, the title at all. Even should Barcelona win, it doesn't determine the title at all. It's just going to be, should Real Madrid win and they will have a way of just eclipsing uh, Barcelona uh, on, the, um, uh, on, on the log there. So I don't think it's going to determine it at all. It's not, it's, it's, it has no way, uh, it has no, no, no way determining the, the, the title at all. Okay. Uh, will we be bold enough to predict a scoreline or, or should we just move on? Yeah, I, I can. I can. I, sh okay. I should be bold enough. Looking at uh, both sides, um, what uh, Neymar has been able to do um, for, for Barcelona this season and also um, uh, Suarez, it won't, uh, it won't be out of place to say Barcelona will actually defeat um, uh, uh, Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. Can you put goals to it? I, I should. I think two goes to one. Okay, let's leave it at that. Uh, let's quickly talk about tennis. We have a few minutes to um, wrap things up on the show. Rafael Nadal has surprised everybody at the World Tour Finals. Played three group matches, defeated everybody in his group. And today came back from a set down to defeat compatriot um, uh, David Ferrer. And of course, sets up a semi-final showdown with world number one, Novak Djokovic. It's going to be very tough, not forgetting the fact that Nova Djokovic actually defeated him this season in the finals there. And um, I, 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 I was one person who was actually rooting for Nadal to go find this tournament uh, to defeat um, Warinka. That first match was actually very tough for him. In fact, he, he, he got his care against um, uh, David Ferrer there. Mm -hmm. was almost um, being knocked that, out there. Yeah. And also, Djokovic, he's not, he's not been playing at the best of our tennis um, in this particular ATP tour final. Lost to Roger Federer. In fact, in he, told, he told us uh, prior to this tournament that he's not been playing the best of his tennis, though he, he whitewashed um, uh, uh, Andy Moore is 2 6 2 there. But looking at this particular encounter, I think um, um, Nova Djokovic might just get one past him um, and uh, Rafael Nadal, the way he's been doing it. Okay, and uh, what of Roger? Uh, do, do you think he's going to get uh, past whoever ends up? Well, th there's every likelihood it's going to be Andy Murray. Uh, but do you think he, he will get past whoever comes to him in the semi-final? Bojan Ferrer should be able to he should be able to get past them. But what he will do in the finals, that is what um, we might not Especially be able to Especially if it's against Novak. Exactly. He knows how to win um, the guys our first round, second round, uh, third round. He gets to the finals. He just gets to be bonded out like a pack of cars against um, uh, Novak Djokovic. But if it's against uh, Nadal, he might still be able to dwindle his way around uh, Nadal because Nadal has not really been fantastic. Though he's been getting it right in this tournament so far. But, but so far, this tournament, Roger Federer has been peerless and flawless. So we'll see what happens when uh, the semi-finals take place tomorrow. Uh, most of these players won't get a chance to rest. But of course, they are professionals. We still expect them to put up their best performance whenever uh, they get the chance to play. Okay, um, let me take this one as we wrap things up on the show. Uh, I don't know if you agree. Uh, it's Oyetine Baba today, Noah says... Real Madrid to defeat Barcelona, Cristiano Ronaldo to score. The, per the person probably listening to you and he says, you're wrong. <laughs> but do you still maintain that Barcelona will win? I, I still maintain it. Okay. I still maintain it. We'll leave it at that. Said we'll be here next week, so we'll be able to know uh, if he's good with prediction. He has said Barcelona will win, so we'll, we'll leave it at that on the show tonight. Well, thanks for staying to you. Thanks for enjoying uh, what we have been able to put together tonight. We urge you once again to enjoy the best of football. Go to the Tesla Balogun Stadium on Sunday to enjoy uh, the Federation Cup final. Well, we leave it at that and we urge you to join us again next week for Sports Tonight. We'll do this again when you see us. Bye-bye now.